In this video I'm going to go over using digital testers to test the pool water chemistry. Number one question with digital water testing is, is the digital reading accurate? Testing for pH, you want to make sure that the digital tester is calibrated. Once the digital tester is calibrated, if you have a good quality tester, the readings will be very accurate. So simply recalibrating your unit will give you good accurate pH readings. You can invest in various pH buffers. You can also do a three-point calibration, pH 4, 7, and 10, give your pH meter the most accurate reading. So by keeping the pH meters calibrated, you're going to get a really accurate pH reading. I'm going to go ahead and get the pH in this pool. I'm going to go ahead and rinse off the sensor with some deionized water. I'm going to rinse off the tracer sensor. I'm going to go ahead and use the same water sample for both testers. And the pH on the Hawk tester is matching the pH on the tracer here. Pretty much equal. I'm going to go ahead and verify the pH here at this pool with the ColorQ Pro 7. I have a couple of videos on my channel detailing this particular tester. This is what the pH is here. The ColorQ is reading 7.7, .7, so you can see the readings are pretty consistent with each other. So I'm going to go ahead and get the salt level at this pool with two different digital testers. One is the Tracer by Lamont, the other one is the Pocket Pro by Hawk. And let's see if these samples match up. See that both meters are reading 3100 parts per million in the salt level in this pool. And you can see the salt level here according to the IntelliClor is at 2850. These are showing a higher level. I think that this particular system, the salt cell, is getting a little bit dirty and that's why it's showing a lower salt level. That's why digital testing is so important. As the salt cell starts to get dirty, it's going to read you a lower level of salt in the pool which may cause you to add salt when you don't really need it. You can see these meters are giving me a really accurate reading of the salinity level and both are matched up perfectly. I'm going to go ahead and get the ORP at this pool here. I'm using the Tracer Total Chlorine ORP and pH kit. Also the Hawk Pocket Pro Plus ORP. I'm going to get a water sample to use for both testers. You see they're both in the 670s, 660s. The numbers are going to keep moving the ORP is not an exact number, but it's a range, so you can see that these are in a pretty good range here. The one on the right is still upticking a little bit. And this particular model also does total chlorine. You have to use these tablets also to get the reading. So investing in a high quality digital tester will give you a good accurate reading of the pool's chemistry. Thank you.